Okay, so I bought this cable from Amazon. It was cheap. It was like 10 for $12 or something like that. It's an I'm, uh, it's, it's a Apple lightning cable and it has this brand on it called Feel Too Nice. Unfortunately, they work for probably about a month and then after that they stop working. Uh, all 10 of them, I only have like maybe one or two more that is still left over that is working. The rest of them are actually dead. Um, it makes no sense to me actually why a cable can die just by using it. So I thought maybe there is some kind of electronic in here that is dying um, or I don't know, I guess getting being defective or something. So I decided to to try to open it. And um, so this is a, a cable that is dead and I'm just gonna try to crack it open. Uh, so okay, well that, that was that was hard. How about this one? Okay. Actually pretty hard. Okay, so it was actually very hard to uh, crack it open with a plier or vice grip. So I had to use a utility knife and basically I just cut it through uh, the middle of the side here. And looks like I can now pry it open with just my finger. And uh, it's like soft plastic so it's pretty easy. Let's see. So what I'm trying to do here is, is trying to see if there is any electronic hidden inside this plug. I think there is. And the electronic is probably the one that is made cheaply because this is one of those cheap Chinese product. My wife is always laughing about me buying these things and it breaks. Okay, so this is very hard. I'm gonna pause the video again so that I can pry off some of these things. There's like some kind of rubbery material here. So I got the rubber material open or peeled back and as you can see uh, this is just cable directly soldered into this aluminum uh, USB 2 I don't know what type A or type B uh, plug so that there, there seems to be no electronic here uh, even though there possibly be maybe still some electronic in here I'm gonna try to crack that open also but first I am going to cut this rubber material here and um, um, so that you can see we can make sure that there is no electronic from this to this okay so I have the USB connector um, this is uh, aluminum protective housing I split it in half and now it exposes the uh, a plastic piece that holds the contacts for the USB. There doesn't seem to be any um, electronic here. Let me take this whatever plastic part out. Yeah, you see? Just plastic cable, contacts, solder, that's about it. So confirm on, at least on this side of the connector, there is no uh, electronic at all. So now we're gonna, we're going to open up this side of the connector and see if there's ele any electronic here. Okay, so I'm opening up um, the actual lightning connector. That 
part there is just hard plastic. This is properly molded, um, meaning this rubber part right here is melted with the cable. That's what I mean by molded. And usually this type of cable is indestructible, like because you would literally have to destroy all the rubber mold in order for the cable to become fray or messed up but so that's why I don't understand how this cable can just break we'll about to find out I guess if there is no electronic here either then that would be a great mystery okay so So I got this part of the cable. Oh, I think I see some electronic now. Uh-huh, look at that. There are some small electronic parts. Okay, so I'm gonna pause the video. Okay, so it is confirmed uh, when I remove all the rubber material. You, you can see now that it exposes this electronic board so whoops I guess I just severed that white wire but inside here you can tell there is an electronic board right there I'm gonna try to get this enlarging glass see if you can see the uh, board through the camera so this must be the culprit that is causing these cable to die. I thought it was just a cable, but lightning adapter actually has electronic in it. Not sure why, but obviously the manufacturers in China are going cheap with the board inside this connector right here, and they're failing. They're dying in about one month, so this is another China piece of crap. Cheap cable that I bought from Amazon. Uh, even though it's cheap, the brand was, where is that thing, feel too nice. Um, it, it was marked somewhere within this plastic piece that I destroyed. Um, yeah, the, the brand was feel too nice and it had good reviews. There was a pack of 10 for $12 or something like that. It's, it's pretty ridiculously cheap, but it's a piece of crap because after a month of use, they start dying and right now out of the pack of 10 after six months of rotating between all of them i'm down to probably about one or two not worth the um, trouble i would say but it's a good experience i did not know that there's electronic in there that's dying but uh, this video confirms it thank you for watching and please subscribe if you find this type of video useful